Bitcoin has been going sideways for over 107 days in a row and right now there are three scenarios which could be playing out and I will be discussing those on today's update video including the fact when is that next move starting to be happening and many other important questions will be answered in this video so make sure to watch this video till the end because this one is going to be extremely important so without any further ado don't forget to slap all that like button on today's update video can we once again smash it back above the 1000 likes that will be highly appreciated and with that of being said let me jump straight away in towards the content so first of all we can see bitcoin has been going sideways for 107 days straight right so we've been bouncing from the high to the low to the high again and currently we're still sitting in this range right here and i believe there are currently three things we should be paying attention towards and those are also the three scenarios i mentioned in the beginning of this video so we can currently see that there's been a slight little reversal of strength in the market and actually this indicator has exactly predicted where bitcoin was going to find its struggle and this is the crypto see premium indicator you can get your hands on it yourself as well if you go to cryptocy.com so if you're interested in that make sure to check it out over there or you can find a link in the description of today's video but this indicator exactly predicted where bitcoin was finding some resistance we got rejected by this level and i straight away want to be pointing out is that currently we are in a slight little downtrend and until we're going to be flipping the downtrend just like we did over here i believe that we're going to be of course getting suppressed ever so slightly so bitcoin needs to be breaking above 73.5k in order to be flipping bullish so seventy-three thousand dollars is the level to break for bitcoin if we want to be calling for a bullish continuation we can currently see that bitcoin is still creating a downward sloping resist line so yeah as long as bitcoin is not breaking above that high right there we are not looking for a continuation higher including in this scenario i want to be pointing out the fact that currently we are hanging on one of the most important support boxes and i am calling this a support box is because bitcoin is right now creating a massive inverse hand and shoulders pattern like you can currently see so we created the left shoulder the head and now the right shoulder and yeah we are currently holding the green box of support and as long as we're holding the green box of support there is no reason whatsoever to be worrying about bitcoin but once again also for this if we want to be seeing a continuation higher for bitcoin we need to be breaking above the range high and if bitcoin breaks below this green box right here we are just simply going to be looking for a continuation lower and what my targets are if we are going to be breaking lower is towards the lower side of the range which of course in this case first of all is going to be 61 to 60 thousand dollars and below that lays this level 56 thousand us dollars so if bitcoin breaks below this box right here we're just simply going to be seeing a continuation downwards to sixty thousand us dollars then of course this other scenario we can just see that bitcoin is currently consolidating sideways if i also go to the 12 hour time frame and you're just going to zoom in a little bit ever so slightly you can see that currently we're just creating a new pattern potentially a w pattern if we create a w pattern it would be of course extremely bullish for bitcoin we could be approaching it as a double bottom scenario if we do clearly see a bounce higher but currently basically what we're seeing is that bitcoin is bouncing between the lows and the highs of the range for me to call what is going to be next for bitcoin is that whenever we see a break of the range so whether we're going to be breaking below the support box and see a retest you want to be opening up a short position because if we break below the support box just like i said on the previous chart we're just going to be going down to sixty thousand dollars and in case we do break above the top side of resistance it's very simple guys in this range we're going to be seeing a continuation higher and my target in that case is going to be eighty thousand us dollars so it is very simple what we're currently seeing on bitcoin it is consolidating in this sideways pattern and if we break support we're going to be going to sixty thousand dollars and if we break the resistance on the top side we're going to go to eighty thousand us dollars that is how simple it currently is here this is one of the most easiest trading ranges i have seen in a very long time and if we see the confirmed break below the support level we're going to be looking of course at short positions and also vice versa at long positions but of course i know the question already you have for me when is it going to be happening when is this breakout going to be happening that is the big question and that and to answer that question for you guys ladies and gentlemen uh we want to be looking at the bullish events indicator this indicator on the lower side is measuring the width between the bullish events and basically talking about whenever a squeeze is happening also this indicator you can use for free by going to trading view searching crypto c you can find the bullish event 
with from crypto c trading indicator it's completely for free so if you're interested in checking it out make sure to use it yourself as well extremely powerful indicator you can use for free but, but basically this indicator right now is telling us that volatility is at historical lows in the market and for the last four times, once we were sitting at this historical low level of volatility, we started to see a very big move. The first time, big move downwards, then a big move upwards, then another big spike upwards, then another spike upwards. And now we have not seen the move yet so far. So there's a big move coming for Bitcoin. It is only a matter of time before it is going to be playing out. So make sure to pay attention towards it. So to answer the question, when is it going to be happening? The charts are telling us it is about to be happening any moment right now. But since this is the four day time frame, it could still easily last maybe another one and a half or maybe two weeks but all we need to be is just to be a little bit patient right now and see which direction the trend breaks towards so yes many people are also asking me should i buy all coins right now in this region and honestly if i'm looking at what part of the cycle we're currently in historically speaking once bitcoin breaks this ultimate high we see an average slide push in the bitcoin dominance and then the altcoin season starts and what are we currently seeing bitcoin breaks this ultimate high we're seeing an average slide push higher on the bitcoin dominance and i still believe that altcoin season is definitely going to be coming but it is not here yet but i do believe it's going to be coming anytime soon here and if we're going to be looking at what kind of part of the cycle we're currently in we are clearly in bitcoin season at the of the year it was a little bit more altcoin season but always in the periods where it is bitcoin season it is usually the best time to be loading up on altcoins because then the most gains are still yet to be realized so yeah i do really believe altcoins are going to be performing good especially since the fact at the end of this month we're going to get the spot ethereum etf and that is going to cause a lot of money to flow in towards altcoins which is ultimately going to be sparking that altcoin season so yeah i do believe that we're not in a bad time in the market right now and overall, in an overview, are we in a bad stage of the market? I don't really believe so, because actually yesterday we got the news that MicroStrategies is raising another 500 million US dollars to be buying more Bitcoin. Already, they're holding more than 14 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin, and they're still buying more. It's telling something about the commitment they have of accumulating even more Bitcoin, even though that we're sitting at all-time highs. And yeah, yesterday as well, we saw new inflows on the spot Bitcoin ETF, and we can currently see that currently clearly there's a significant amount of inflows from these large steel institutions and it is telling us something about the commitment from them as well and since we're having an etf bitcoin is not going to be disappearing so bitcoin is here to stay and i am very excited about it for what this is going to bring us so i am very excited for what this is about to be bringing us in the future so at the same time funding rates remain to be negative meaning that a lot of people are actually trading short and while we're looking at where we're currently sitting in the cycle, guys, look at this. There's loads and loads of liquidity being built up above us. To be exact, like 5 billion over here, 6 billion over here, and about 10 to 15 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin short liquidations are laying between 72 to 74,000 US dollars. So there's going to be a massive short squeeze coming for Bitcoin. And I said this so many times before, always I have been right. Bitcoin always follows the liquidity. So eventually I do think Bitcoin is going to be grabbing that liquidity on the top side to of course go even higher afterwards so currently bitcoin is of course not doing anything very special but if you want to be trading it yourself guys you can currently claim an insane free 200 dollars trade for only depositing 100 dollars in your first seven days and how you can claim it is by signing up an account using that link below so make sure to check it out if you're interested in trading check out bybit in the link description of today's video but guys anyways it was definitely a little bit of a shorter video it was a different kind of video but i truly hope you did enjoy it if you did so don't forget to subscribe to the channel slap all that like button and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out Goodbye.